No, what are you doing? Why are you filming? We are trying to make the most out of the British winter. So for the last week, we have been living on nothing but pine nuts and twigs. Not really. On the winter solstice this year, I became an uncle and I'm yet to see my niece. This week, we are gonna be traveling from the UK's northernmost city all the way down to London where my niece is waiting for me to visit. And we're not gonna do it without a funky little method of transport to get there. We're talking road trips. We're talking trains. We're talking sleeping. So today we've got a special treat. I have planned everything and I'm also going to be driving us everywhere. For those of you that have been watching our channel for a while know that Tom does most of the driving. Um, I am nervous of driving the van, but I'm gonna face my fears, do all our driving today. Her planning style is a little bit more spontaneous than mine. Ah! Why? I can't break! I can't break! Having spent almost three years living in the van, making these videos, me and Iz have fallen into quite specific roles within the van. We want to make it more balanced, so this week I'm going to be cooking, and I might even try a bit of cleaning. <laughs> Before we get on the train to London, we also have quite a few jobs that need to get done. We have a full toilet, we have no water, we have a nearly empty battery, we have laundry to do, we have a few DIY jobs. Uh, our door still doesn't lock and we have a chip in the windscreen, so it's going to be a busy couple of days. I saw this sign in the night last night and it really freaked me out because I couldn't read it. I could just see these like teddies stuck to a tree. <laughs> I was doing a wee at the time. I was literally like getting me out of these woods. These are oh, freaky as hell. Findhorn is very windy, but it's also got this amazing tidal lagoon. And I think it's a bit of a bird watcher's spot, judging by the, these outrageous telescopes. It seems like quite a cool place. It's like an eco village and they have lots of sustainably built buildings. We found a cute cafe to try out. Thank you, bye. Findhorn, brief but pleasant visit. On my lap. We've got a fair way to go today. We've got a few hours driving. I just knocked my contact and my eye felt so sore and it's been about 20 minutes. I just found my contact around the back of my eye folded up and now my eye is so sore. I think I'm gonna have to be putting glasses on today. Isabel is in charge of planning today and her planning style is a little bit more spontaneous than mine. We've just seen a sign for the Loch Ness Trail and she's veered off. We're following this instead. So we're actually gonna be going down the east side of Loch Ness. There she is. Nessie, come out to play. First hurdle of the journey, the road was closed next to the lock. So we're going to be up in the hills overlooking the lock. This road is pretty crazy. I'm getting horrible flashbacks of getting stuck on uh, Shetland. It's just oh, oh my God, it's very so potholy, very bumpy. I really hope track. it actually does connect up with the road we're trying to get to. I want to get off this road now. <laughs> Feels like more of a tractor road than a car road. Definitely not a van road. Whoa! 1.5 miles left of it. We have come to a gate. I really hope this is not just a farm track again. <laughs> what have I done, guys? Where have I taken us? <laughs> we just gotta get out of here. Keep going. Oh my god. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. If I see someone, like, we are actually screwed on. This is scary. Ah. Ah. I can't break! I can't break! I can't... The brake's not working. The brake's failed. Oh, no. Put the handbrake on. Put that down. Put that down. Put right. it down and help. Just okay, put well, it down there. Okay, okay, okay. Just calm down. Calm Something's down. happened. This, right, let I, me, I was just do, pressing, do, do you want me to take over the driving? I'm just on this little downhill I was just bit. pressing the brake and yeah, nothing I know, happened. I know what you're saying. I think we just need to look under the van quickly. Okay, but I'm I don't, scared. You're not going to see anything under the I'm van. I'm scared that if we release the handbrake, we won't be able to stop again. Oh my God, what's happening? You hit the corner as you went round. But, um, no, but Tom, the brakes weren't working. Yeah, I, I think that's just because you were going too fast. I think we were just skidding down because of all this leaf litter and stuff. Something's like under our pedals. I don't think it is. I think what it is, it's anti-lock braking because there's all these leaves and stuff. We're going downhill, okay. we're a heavy vehicle, we're going quite fast. Okay. So I think it was and it was like skidding. Yeah, something, should I just release the handbrake? Yeah, just, just slowly. Let's go nice and slow. This is very windy. I hate it. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I just think stopped. We're gonna make that. I'm gonna. Do you want me to take over? I actually don't think we'll make that. We will. How? So just come out this way a little bit. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is just turn around. It'll go this really slow. Right. Do you want me to try? I'm just scared if I try, I'll fail. Okay. Well. But I kind of want to do it because. It's okay. Like, we'll come on then. Let's try it. So keep going, keep going, keep going. Now lock, turn. Back wheel, it's gonna be close. Just keep imagine? lock on, no, you're fine, you're fine. Oh my god, it carries on, Tom. I think, we've, I think we fucked this. I think we're really stuck. This is terrifying. We've come down this like really ridiculous road. Like, don't know if you can see these hairpin bends. I don't think we're gonna make it. If we meet anyone else, we're so screwed. Just please be careful, because I love you so much. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Guys, I'm not joking. I thought I was going to get a shot of us like coming off the hill. This is so stupid. I hate this way so much. I can't believe it. I'm like, I just feel so like I'm in a world of a dream or something because I got us into this and I feel really annoyed because it's like the one day I drive. We get out of this, like, okay. I'm not just being dramatic, but like, I just feel like I don't, there's, I can just look down and there's hairpin after hairpin and there's huge drops at the side it's absolutely terrifying but i can see the lock so i think we're quite close but honestly if we get out okay after this like i'm just i need to, we just need to get on the main road and drive to the campsite and i'm never going down any sort of off off the beaten track routes i don't understand even how we got to this the next hairpin tom is an absolute legend Okay. okay, that was by far one of the worst roads we've ever driven down. Those hairpins are so tight. Oh, so horrible. Um, we are too long to fit down here, really. Yeah. They need to have some kind of a sign on a road like this. Because I mean, that is, pretty... is crazy. When I was stuck yeah. there, my back wheels were spinning. I, like, I actually thought, I don't think we're going to make this. But then I didn't know how we were ever going to get out. Yeah, I mean, it's not over way... yet. It's not over yet. It is. Look, look at this map. Oh my God. Look at this map. This is what I've just been down. Yeah, I'm glad you took over. Yeah, I mean, you did really well, but I'm glad I took over because that was genuinely some of the hardest driving I've oh done. Oh my God, I, I, I was so scared. Like, part, I'm not joking, not to sound selfish, but part of the reason I got out to film was that I thought it was going to go over. Yeah, I thought it could too. I thought like, when the brakes weren't working, I thought that, that this was it. I thought the van's ruined. Oh, everything was going through my head. I was like, we're, we're stuck on a hill and the brakes don't work. I've broken the van and I've killed us. It's just annoying because it's all like, my, I'm so anxious about driving and then like, I end up having a situation like that. And that's just like, not helpful is it? I mean, you did really well, the bit you did do. That was horrible. If you come to Scotland, don't, don't drive on that road. Don't go on that road, whatever you do. Do not, even in a car. Rather than dwelling on that experience, Isabel's jumping straight back behind the wheel and we are heading off to the campsite we're staying at tonight. We have come to the Ben Nevis campsite. It's a pretty basic campsite and it's quite expensive, but it's pretty much the only thing open at the moment and we do need to do some services. Mm. And normally Tom would plug in our electricity and he would start making a plan for tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. But before I do that, I wanna quickly tell you about our good friends at Surfshark who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Guys, if you haven't got a VPN yet, what are you waiting for? I'm gonna try and convince you. Before I used Surfshark, I didn't know what the heck a VPN was and why I'd need one. It stands for Virtual Private Network, and this allows us to change the virtual location of all our devices, phones, laptops, computers, and this comes with a whole wealth of benefits. Let's go through some of the reasons why Surfshark can benefit you today. Spend less with Surfshark. You can get cheaper subscriptions, flight and hotel bookings, car rentals, by turning on your VPN and online shopping from a different country. Stay safe on public Wi-Fi's. A VPN encrypts all of the information sent from your devices to the internet 
internet so no one can steal or track your sensitive information online. We don't want any hackers looking at our private information. Access lots of new content libraries. Me and Tom mainly use Surfshark to change the virtual location of our device to America. I'm loving New Girl at the moment and you can't get that on British Netflix. No, that's crazy. That ain't real. <laughs> that's dumb. That's straight down. Protect your whole household. A single subscription with Surfshark can keep your entire household safe. Yep, that's right. You just need one account and you can use that on unlimited devices. So get your whole family involved with Surfshark. And if you do want to get it, please use the link in our description and the code TRANSIT. This not only helps support our channel, but also you get a better deal than going directly through Surfshark's website. You can get 83% off and three months for free. Enjoy surfing the web with your new VPN. Go. We've stayed at many a campsites in our time living in this van, but like we said before, we get stuck into our roles. I've only ever really plugged in our electricity once. <laughs> Here goes, let's hope I can do it. Oh, wow, thank you. This looks incredible. Right. So nice. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. You know what? It works. Yeah, I just wanted a bit of goo in the sandwich, and we had that, all that leftover dal, and I just put a little bit in there. Yeah. Give a bit of flavour and a bit of. You've outdone yourself. Now that we've had some food, we've got quite a few jobs we need to do before we head off to London. The most important job out of all of these is fixing the door, because at the moment we just can't lock it, and we're gonna be leaving the van for about five days. When we got back from Shetland, we picked up a parcel from Tom's friend that lives in Aberdeen, luckily. We had a postal address to send this lock to. So in here should be a replacement lock. Okay, this is kind of intimidating to me. A Ford Transit MK6 right sliding door. Right sliding door? Isn't this left? Is it wrong? Yeah. As you just saw, unfortunately, we've got the wrong lock for the wrong side of the van. So we can't actually fix the lock. It's pretty bad because we now won't be able to lock our van when we go to London. We need to figure out where to put the bamba. We need to figure out how to get this lock returned and also how to get a new lock. So this is it. This is Neffa's range camper van site. It does feel like it's just been built. I can kind of see why maybe some of the reviews were bad. I mean, it's fine now, but maybe when they were building it, it didn't have much love. Um, so I can see over here we've got like the service unit of emptying our toilet. Washing up area. Somebody's left their bowls. Recycling. Water. So this is the path that leads us to the toilet. So it is quite a walk and it looks like they're building new pitches behind me. So it's going to be quite a big campsite when it's finished. Damn. Tom forgot to give me the key card. So I will walk back to the van. One of the jumps. <laughs> One of the jobs Tom always does is put the bed out. We have a, a non-fixed bed, so we have to put it out every night and put it away every morning. So I'm gonna do that now while Tom's washing up in the pouring rain. <laughs> is it annoying you that you're carrying my bag? <laughs> Please don't. Ooh. Whoa, these are nice. Wow. Whoa, this was huge. Really nice shower, but this wet room concept, oh my god, no. Oh, this wet room, the drain isn't working properly and the water's spread out all my clothes. I've got soaked. That was so good, it wasn't, um, it didn't have a button, so you could just press, or you could have the shower on for as long as you wanted. Look who's in the kitchen! Chicken, leek, pie with new potatoes, that's the plan. When you say chicken, you mean? Chicken. Chicken. The vegan chicken we were using is really expensive, it's three pounds for a pack. So I've decided to buy some shiitake mushrooms and I thought that would act in the same way, really.
Well, it certainly looks rustic. Let's say that. It's been 35 minutes. Woo! It doesn't look that puffy, but I think that's because I re-rolled it. That pie could not have been more perfect. We have completely demolished the lot. I'm having birds. <laughs> so yesterday, a few things went wrong. The door lock that we had ordered is for the other side of the van. We can't lock our back door at the moment, so the whole back is open. And we're supposed to be going to London for four days. We're going to be leaving our van here in Fort William completely open. We've come up with a solution. My good mate's parents live in Balahulish, which is only about 10 miles from Fort William. So I've spoken to them and they're going to let us park on their driveway while we're away. So the next thing we have to try and sort is laundry. I'm here at the base of Ben Nevis in shorts and flip-flops because I've got no clean clothes. As you can see by this massive pile of clothes next to me, we have quite a lot of laundry to do. We have a laundrette, but we had to get some cash out. He's gone to cash, and I asked her to get me a treat from the co-op. I got you two there. treats. Oh, yeah. Sausage jars and something's underneath. Woo! Okay, so this last one needs to be a 90, a 1,000, or a 6. We got a bloody 2. That's oh. what we wanted. Nothing. I want a pound! <laughs> So the clothes are in the dryer and I even managed to have time to have a haircut in that time. But now we're off to Balahulish to go and leave our van with my mate's parents. We've arrived at Tom's friend's parents' house where we're going to be leaving La Bamba while we're in London and I'm really pleased it feels super safe yeah, right on their really drive. Yeah, it's really rural, really quiet. Really away from the, the main woods. road. Yay! We've just been dropped off at Yay. the station by Alex's parents. It's 20 past seven and we've just been told we're allowed to board the sleeper train. So on we get. It's very fancy, you get checked in by a nice post before you get on. Someone checks your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> we're right here. Woo, this is us. This is so cute. Oh, it's a proper little room, it's so sweet. Well, you wouldn't be able to come here if you were a bit like big. It's really nice. It's actually so cool being able to have a bed on a train. This is what you get if you come onto the Caledonian sleeper train and you get a classic room. Let me take my bag off, I can't fit. We've got bunk beds. Oh, we get a little water. A couple little waters. Light switch. Woo, that's bright. Oh my goodness. Heating, because so I'm going to turn mine up to hot. Yeah, baby. Key card, little sink. We've got a little Caledonian sleep packet with earplugs, eye mask, and soap. Yay! This is so cozy. I'm really excited. Let the night begin! Who's sleeping? <laughs> guys, 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 guys. I've just seen we got a breakfast menu with complimentary coffee. It gets delivered to your room. We're off. We're off. Next stop, London. We're back in our room and it is quite cosy. When there's just a gentle rocking of the train going along and it's a really nice way of travelling. Comfy. I'm going to try and get some sleep now. And it's kind of strange that we're going to be waking up in London. Hopefully we'll knock on our door with some breakfast room service. This is luxury. Night time. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I was in really deep sleep. I just woke up, I had my earplugs in and um, somebody knocked at the door to deliver us our breakfast. Gotta make my own coffee here in bed. Vegan sausage sandwich with Branson pickle. London! <laughs> wow, me and Tom are the last people off the train, as you can imagine. Now we've got to make our way to my sister's house. It's a beautiful day here in London. Yeah. There's no wind, I can see blue sky. <laughs> this is very unusual. So my sleep last night wasn't amazing. It was pretty bumpy uh, on the train. But then also we had some neighbours 
the walls were quite thin and our neighbours were uh, having a bit of an argument yeah. until like all night, all night and there was a lot of shouting and stuff. We've made it to my little niece. This is Essie, perfect little human. Bless her. She's seven weeks old. She's very sleepy at the moment. We've been off to the Natural History Museum today. And Israel does the cleaning, the cooking, and um, well, I didn't need to add anything else. <laughs> Time to eat. Give it a go. Look at that frog spawn. Um, Thank you for helping me in when I was really stressed. Don't worry guys. The starry pyjamas came with us to London. 